Hello and welcome back to the channel. So recently I reached out to a company called iFootage because I'm not a big fan of tripods, but there are certain situations, especially with this channel, where a tripod is necessary. For example, I've been photographing uh, waterfalls in the Lake District and I really could have used the tripod at that time. There's also filming wildlife and also making these YouTube videos. But the reason I've always shied away from having a tripod is because they're just big, bulky, heavy, cumbersome, and I just don't really get along with them. And then I'd heard of iFootage's TC3B um, carbon fiber tripod, and I thought I'd, that looks so interesting. So I reached out to them and said, could I make a review? Could I test it out? And they said, yeah, let us know your thoughts and your feelings about the product. Um, I'm not receiving, it's not a sponsored video. I'm not receiving any money for making this video and any links I put in the description, they're not affiliate links. I don't earn any commission off of any sales of the tripod. So yeah, right now the tripod is to my bag. And to be honest, I can't really feel that it's there. It weighs a kilo. And with the K3 Komodo head, it's 1.25 kilos, which is absolutely nothing. My Lumix G9 and 100 to 400 weigh 1.6 kilos, and that's on the other side of the bag. So it balances really, really nicely. So let's have a quick look at the tripod. So it comes in a nice little bag. Um, I've taken one of the straps off of it just because I'm never going to use it sort of strapped but um, yeah nice little carrying bag to keep all the dust and dirt out of it and immediately you're greeted to a product that <laughs> just looks incredibly well made and incredibly light like that's my little finger that's that's how light this 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 product actually is and it's I'm definitely not massive on setting up tripods, but this is how easy it is. Even a non-tripod setter-upper like myself can set this up in a matter of seconds. So all the little locks are really nice feeling and we just extend them all down and then we're basically good to go. So the height of the tripod is 1.4 meters. Now I've shrunk as I'm getting older so I'm about five foot nine these days and it is pretty much the perfect height for me. Now iFootage do make a non-carbon fiber version, which is a little bit cheaper, but it's a little bit heavier, but it's also a little bit taller at 1.5 meters. But this is absolutely perfect for me and it's so sturdy, but yet so light, it's unreal. Um, the Komodo K3 head, which comes with the tripod, that is capable of taking three kilograms of weight. And the tripod itself is rated to five kilos, which is gonna cover anything that I've got in my backpack. What I'm gonna do now is mount the Lumix G9 and the 100 to 400 lens onto the tripods to just give you an example of how well it goes on. So there's a little, um, bracket adapter so I can mount it to my lens and it simply slides on like so and if we extend the lens out so it's furthest now this lens and camera combination is about 1.6 kilos so it's well within the three kilo payload and yeah obviously when i'm vlogging i can mount my dji pocket to this absolutely with no hassles whatsoever obviously my 12 to 60 lens but this big combo is just it's, it's really ideal um, and you can see just how smooth it is now i can use this for photography pretty much like a gimbal just the only thing is if I let go it will obviously flop but that can be resolved by just tightening up the two screws on the side what's really cool is we've got this little ball here where if I loosen it if the ground isn't level I can use the little spirit level to get the base level 
and then looking on my camera I can now see that the camera is level and yeah so you can see just how smooth even with this big heavy lens extended out just how lovely and smooth that operation is like I said I would I would use this for filming and photography so I can get down I'm at a nice comfortable height to be taking pictures and even though the G9's got amazing image stabilization when it comes to filming video it removes all of the shake um, I've spent a lot of time in DaVinci Resolve sort of smoothing out um, shaky footage that was handheld whereas with this what I'll do is quickly switch into video mode but I can film And I've not even locked down the tripod, but I can do smooth pans left and right, up and down. And yeah, I've never even used uh, this product on this tripod for any extensive amount of time. So yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, all in all, it's an incredibly well built tripod. Um, another cool feature, is at the bottom of the legs if you just twist these feet you'll find that it exposes spikes so if you're on like perhaps muddy or beach or surfaces you've got a lot more purchase from those sort of spikes there which is really really cool and you can just do them up and have the normal feet as you as you wish so yeah um just aside from really sort of lightweight and the amazing build quality there's only one negative that i found so far and it's just that you the product comes with an allen key so you can obviously tighten up the legs or any sort of adjustments you need to make but the allen key's got a little hole on the side of the tripod and you can sort of hold it in but unfortunately on my example the magnet doesn't work now personally i wouldn't rely on a magnet to hold a allen key but i've just put it in my sd card part of my bag and i i wouldn't really rely on a magnet to sort of hold it to the tripod anyway but that is my only criticism um the item was received with well packaged there's no danger of it getting in any kind of um scuffs or anything in transit because it is really well packaged and perhaps in the future, the only thing I'm being really picky now is that perhaps they could, instead of the colour red, which I think would appeal to most people, I'd like to see like a wildlife photography version with perhaps or camouflage instead of red. That would be pretty cool. Another thing to note and, and mention is how much adjustment there is on these legs. So I can get stupidly down low if I so desired um, with the camera. So I'll just demonstrate that now. Now obviously I wouldn't, for the purposes of the video, I wouldn't um, be doing it so cack-handedly. But for video purposes. And look at this. I wouldn't have these legs extended out this far. But we can get down ridiculously low. Um, obviously it would be more stable if I had the legs in. But yeah, there's basically like three or four points of adjustment so you can really fine tune sort of where you want the legs to be basically which is is really really nice now as for price you can find this product on pro av amazon it's for for about 220 pounds which a lot of people might say hang on a sort of small travel tripod even though it's got a video head on it that's a lot of money and these are probably the same people that will spend five to ten thousand pounds on a telephoto lens or, or lots of money on a camera but won't invest a couple of hundred quid in getting a good quality tripod i think for micro four thirds users or users of sort of lighter weight cameras this tripod is absolutely it's it's it's, it's essential um and yeah just the fact that it's 1.25 kilos incredibly lightweight incredibly strong i couldn't re recommend it anymore so yeah like i said this isn't a sponsored video um, i'm not making any money off this all, all these thoughts and opinions are my own 
I will definitely, definitely be using this product going forwards in future videos. It really is a, a good bit of kit. And yeah, um, it, I'm just uh, just amazed by it. It's just really, it's a really, really nice product. And one that I can see myself using for both wildlife photography and videography just moving forwards. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this useful, um, please leave it a like. Let us know your comments. What do you think about the iFootage TC3B tripod? One last thing that I did forget to mention is that these tripods are comp compatible with a separately sold um, quick release mount. So you can change from a K3 head to a K5. You can change to a ball head with one quick and easy adjustment. It is really simple to um, take. You can use any of your sort of standard mount tripod heads but well, just unscrew this. As you can see, just standard tripod mount. You can mount any of your sort of ball heads or anything like that on there. And like I said, the tripod is capable of holding five kilos. So yeah, I'll give up on doing that. But yeah, thank you uh, very much for watching the video.